Hello, Cancerians. Welcome to Maluna Tarot. Thank you for being here. Love and light. I don't know why I felt like saying that. Um, let's get into your reading this morning or today. This is going to be for June 2nd, June 3rd, June, the week of first week of June, okay? For whenever you hear or feel called to watch this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Cancer need to know? We have by the next full moon that's happening tomorrow okay tomorrow uh it is happening in sagittarius okay messages through music someone could be communicating with you you could be dealing with another cancerian or this is this is your energy showing up by the next full moon what else for cancer what else does cancer need to know for this reading holy spirit can we talk okay we have healing family issues okay so to uh, something to do with the home could be Okay, you might have had to heal or there's a healing happening. Okay, um, can we talk? Okay, there's somebody that wants to communicate with you, Cancer. It could be by the next full moon. It could be this um, this full moon that's happening in Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. What does Cancer need to know, Holy Spirit? Okay, deep breath. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck, okay? Um, I believe the Ten of Cups is um, was in your energy, the last most recent message I did for you, with the Temperance, okay? You're coming into in some sort of balance here. It could be with your family. It could have, it could have something to do with your stability. That is, what, that is what I heard, stability, because the Temperance is, is divine interceding in to bring in balance, okay? Sagittarius. There's a reason why I say things when I begin the readings, okay? It's not just for any reason, okay? The Temperance is Sagittarius energy could be a healing or some sort of you know happiness happening happening okay by this next full moon in sagittarius the ten of cups is a happy you know it's it's this fulfillment if a fulfillment could be in relations to family that is what i'm picking up cancer it could also be reconciliation okay it is happiness it is happiness, okay? Um, wish fulfillment for you, Cancerian. You know, I do sound, I mean, I, I feel like I'm I'm speaking to, you know, some of, you know, collectively, okay? Collectively, this has been showing up for Cancer, okay? Something that you've asked the divine for, okay? It's being answered. So I have to look at it that way. This is Aquarius energy. There's some sort of wish fulfillment here. That's That was what I was going to say with the Ten of Cups. And then I rephrased to happiness you know reconciliation um something it, it could be in relations to family there's something that's being healed here okay because it says here healing family issues okay something to do with the home this could be you or this could be somebody in your energy cancer your you or your person okay so i feel like this is the divine again the divine here bringing in a blessing for you some sort of blessing it could be in love it could be in, re in relations to a love connection it could be in relations to a love connection here. See, that is the wish fulfillment I wanted to say. Nine of Cups, Eight of Cups, Two of Swords. Some of you are having a victory, victory here and a wish fulfillment, some sort of victory wish fulfillment within a partnership, okay? It could be that your person here has, in fact, put something to, that's what I'm hearing, um, moved past move past um disappointment this, you have moved away, away from disappointment okay because i'm hearing disappointment with the eight of cups okay this is somebody who walks away from a partnership okay discontent okay and discontentment here towards their happiness nine of cups singular energy nine of cups six of wands is a victory here there's something that somebody's foreseeing here okay looking towards looking ahead here from coming from a, a, a place of stalemate with the two of swords wish fulfillment queen of wands ten of pentacles nine of wands five of pentacles and the ten of swords so there's going to be communication here about something being terminated could be in relations to family or some sort of engagement engagement commitment nine of wands so this has taken a lot of energy from somebody i feel like um let's continue with the reading cancer that was just me looking at the bottom of the deck, okay? So a lot of you feel like um, this is a new new beginning for you, okay? It's going to be a clean slate, okay, from scratch. It's, it's going to be a new beginning. It could be a person taking a risk, okay, taking um, some sort of leap here towards a commitment. 
okay? Taurus energy with the hair font. This is guidance, okay? This is new. It could be new. Fire energy, Ace of Wands. I'm picking up commitment here, Ten of Pentacles, and we saw the hair font, okay, and the Ace of Wands. So new passion. It could be new passionate uh, beginning start, okay, within for a commitment here, within a love connection. What does Cancer need to know, Holy Spirit? Thank you. We have Queen of Swords, Two of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Now we have two queen, queens and a choice here to make. This is Air, Element, Earth, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Two of Wands is a it's someone feeling at a crossroads between two people, feeling in between two people. What else for this reading, Holy Spirit? Does Cancer need to know? The decision here okay gender is not gender specific this could be i mean it's, i see two feminine energies but this is somebody that's waiting okay there could be somebody here waiting or thinking about investing page of swords okay something they're learning or potentially even a message but i see this here is more it's like you know keep eyes on the price okay keeping an eye on something okay could be spying there could be some spying going on seven of pentacles showing up with this too it's like it's like a decision here that's being made here in in order to invest someone could be wanting to communicate this to you we have a queen of swords i sometimes see the queen of swords uh it could be an ex it could be anybody really so it's somebody who's very analytical practical discerning this queen of pentacles is a stable grounded energy okay it is the wife in the tarot see two of swords so someone here says it's, it's either at a crossroads or needing to make a choice with the two of wands okay deciding here to take action with the two of so two of sources still make energy okay there's someone here who's waiting who's waiting for their their the seeds that they've planted their time i mean so it could be now we have king of swords could be anything really seven 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 of cups four of swords and then there's news with this page of wands in reflection here, there's something that feels like um, someone's thinking about. Okay, King of Swords is someone who's very analytical. Okay, it also communicates, makes decisions. It could be about choices. You know, I mentioned uh, a choice here, some sort of decision here. Seven of Cups, um, confusion, illusions. There's a message, Cancer, with this page of wands. You know, this feels to me like it's an exciting, something It's exciting or passion it could be as well. Okay, it is a message. So someone's thinking here about communicating. We have, can we talk? Okay, by the next full moon. So it, it's a person here who's thinking, okay? I see, I view the eight, seven of pentacles with the four of swords as a reflection contemplation here. Okay, of past investments. Okay, perhaps even in self, some sort of uh, recovery mode, recovery taking a moment here to reflect with the four of swords is mental. And then news coming in with this page of wands. Um, I'm not sure what, you know, we'll clarify what, what this is about, but I feel like it's somebody here making a thorough decision, okay, with the two of wands, king of swords and the three of wands. And here they come. Oh my God, we have the three of, uh, queen of wands, ace of swords. Someone could be make, deciding here to cut out um, or has gathered here truth or clarity here about someone from at a distance. The three of wands could be a feminine energy. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. It's like, you know, the, the, the king of swords has this, this sort of truth. Page of swords is communication. So there is communication coming from someone at a distance. Could be a fire sign. Um, I, don't, I don't see this as a third party dynamic. I do see somebody here who's keeping an eye on something, okay? They're spying and they're gaining a sense of clarity. There's a, there's a truth that's being spoken with the King of Swords, okay? And an offer that's being presented here, an offer monetary and also in love, okay? That's coming by divine justice. Could be from a Pisces or a Libra. There's something that is coming into you for you because of good karma. I see there's communication. I see somebody here waiting here. It could be, They could be waiting to communicate or waiting, waiting to... Um, make some sort of decision. There's a page of cups, Libra energy. I don't know why I'm saying Libra. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. And the moon, I, I see like, so I see that there's, there's something hidden. The moon is Cancer. The moon is Cancer, the ruler for Cancer. There's something here that is hidden here. It could be three of swords. Uh, it could be a third party, sure. It could be a third party, seven of swords. It's, um, it's justice also for... 
a deception. It feels like someone's coming in communicating or someone, somebody's cutting out um, some, some sort of disappointment here deception here from uh, from the past there's balance here there with the justice okay or some sort of deception from the past being made right okay i feel like there are repressed emotions could be from you know a person here who's deceptive you know take it how it resonates i feel like there's somebody here who's thinking or about how to make it how to make things bring things into alignment okay we did see the temperance in the beginning of the reading with the two of cups so there's a there's an, some sort of balance here alignment and an offer this could be new love i mean it could be new love for all i know you know that there could be a, somebody new coming into your life cancer by divine justice okay by with i mentioned good karma with this justice card okay and, and again it could have been something you have been waiting for <clears throat> for some time you you might have had to take some time here to heal i'm also seeing that cancer there's some sort of truth here that someone here has gathered okay um see and as i said that the devil's showing up at the bottom of the deck you know the devil talks about karmic lessons so i mentioned truth there's a truth that someone here has gathered i feel like look i'm just gonna say it it could have been a situation where someone felt like they were in between two people for some time okay particularly two two divine two two feminine energies this person has had some time to think about this i don't, I don't know or maybe this is you you may, might have had to heal from a situation um that felt um felt like didn't pay off for you with the seven of pentacles cancer this felt like pepsi the devil and the three of swords something here feels like it didn't pay off okay you've learned a karmic lesson from this i feel like this is like the worst is over because i'm viewing i'm viewing the sun with the lovers so there is there, there this is in relations to a love connection i feel okay and there's there's definitely a shift happening for you look at the ten of cups showing up again with the sun and the wheel of fortune so i feel like things are turning around for you okay coming from this devil energy three of swords now i'm not just saying that because it's what i'm seeing here something that you have waited for i'm going to clarify this uh seven of pentacles you know we have the ace of cups so it could be a situation very well so cancer that new love may come into your life here to heal and heal heal disappointment i said heal disappointment from the past i did see the seven of swords here yeah feeling free and optimistic here about the future okay i i think i mentioned new new beginning clean slate okay with the full card so ace of cups and the full as i continue to shuffle the deck i'm going to leave this ace of cups here it feels like a new beginning for me for you i mean i, I was going to say for me it feels like a new beginning see you're waiting someone is waiting okay with the seven of pentacles the seeds you've planted here okay your harvest for your harvest to pay off okay there's a choice that's being made okay all right there's news coming in with this page of wands could be from a sagittarius i'm picking up sagittarius very strongly today in the reading what is the seven of pentacles what is cancer here waiting for someone's waiting for to a source somebody that cannot make a decision here it could be a king of cups Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or this could be somebody here not able to decide about you. They're not able to make a choice or hear a decision here about you. Or someone's waiting. There's a waiting. This is a waiting game or stalemate. Like I said, it's stalemate energy. There's water in these two cards, okay? So I feel like there, there's emotions here. There's something that you might have been waiting for, okay? And it just, for some reason, there's something that you couldn't see you couldn't decide on i feel like you are going to see you are going to be able to make a choice or a decision now with this king of swords which we were viewing looking at previously okay there's somebody here who's making a decision to leap to take a leap or venture towards a new beginning okay so there's there's an emphasis on that i feel like you you've either waited for some time or you're in this energy of waiting could be no communication here with the, with a the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. And the Five of Pentacles came out in the reverse, so I'm going to take it in the reverse, okay? This is, see, with the change, the shift, the change. I feel like there's something about this Jupiter energy. I think that Jupiter is direct in Taurus, but there's something here that's shifting for you. Okay, you might have waited here for some time for someone. Um, it could be a situation that now... <laughs> I feel like you've, you know, there's been there's been absolutely no absolutely no communication between you and a person here that may very well so you know come from out of the cold from out of the cold 
two of cups wheel of fortune and the magician there's definite communication happening okay mercurian energy gemini virgo so in this um I feel like this is uh this is karma also with the with the wheel of fortune cancer this is karma it's it's good karma like i said there's good karma for you some of you if you felt like you were in some sort of lack mentality or even lack of financials okay that you're coming out of this okay because the, the wheel of fortune is, is a change okay someone's coming from out of the cold that's that's what i'm hearing okay someone whom you're not in communication with at this time or not communicating with could be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn with the seven of pentacles and again you know i, I view this person in the seven of pentacles as someone who looks towards lo looks at the past they're looking back at the past perhaps at a, about a decision that they couldn't make ace of wands with a page of wands um this person is watching you look see it landed here and they're holding this one this this is a message with this page of wands could be from a pisces give me one more for the seven of pentacles before okay queen of swords and the nine of swords with this empress so the, what's interesting about this is that here she is queen of swords and we have the nine of swords with a divine feminine here which i view as you cancerian okay four of wands see i feel like uh there's an x here with this queen of swords Something didn't pay off for somebody here with a feminine, with a the feminine, a feminine or masculine energy. Okay, air element, Queen of Swords. So Nine of Swords in the reverse. Okay, someone who's highly, you know, very distressed. This person is creating now a lot of stress here for someone. This Queen of Swords. And now it's somebody I feel like is looking back with the Seven of Pentacles here, thinking like, what did I invest my my get myself into? That's the energy I'm getting with the Seven of Pentacles. What did I possibly, you know, this person could be in some sort of lack or or stalemate, okay? Stalemate, worries, anxiety here because of a queen of swords. This this came out and the, the, there's a divine feminine here who's a true, who's a true, often, you know, I'm, I'm hearing partner, soulmate, partner, 11-11, twin flame, soulmate energy. Three of wands, four of wands, three of wands. Seven of Swords, Page of Wands, Five of Wands. Someone here tricked somebody. Okay, I'm, I'm picking up this uh, Queen of Swords energy. Someone might have been tricked here with this Two of Swords. I feel like it's it could be could be a masculine uh, energy cancer. I see. I view the Seven of Pentacles as someone who it's in you know looking like some sort of confusion illusion here created this Two of Swords for someone. Making them even betrayed a true, you know, a, a soulmate here. This could, for all I know, this this is you. See, seven of swords, this three of wands. It, it's. I feel like um, this person now it's 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 in deep remorse here, for leaving somebody for leaving somebody out in the cold here with the five of pentacles in the reverse. You know, it could have been this. Um, I don't know. I view this queen of swords as someone else. Okay, not you. So now we have this King of Wands showing up, Aries, Leo, Sag. There's a choice. There's a decision here. There's illusions. There's illusions here. Someone here has created some sort of despair, some a restlessness. It's, it's, it's a feminine energy here that someone see. This person's in between two. There's in between two that this is fire energy. So King of Wands is it's an energy that takes action. But there was there, there was illusions here, confusions with the Seven of Cups. Uh, that a queen of swords might have created the feminine energy. Now that's the, now there's somebody here very, really much, very stressed. Okay, this is Aquarius Gemini energy. Um, it's it's someone who's highly strategic, analytical, practical. Okay, or something about financial loss here. See, we have the justice showing up, Cancer. So there's something you know it could be in relations to legal matters, but I do see here that this as divine justice for you. Okay, there was a dynamic here that created a lot of confusion. Okay, some sort of illusion here for you, even distress for you. Okay, or your person. Okay, I feel like this person now is having financial issues or someone is because of a decision that they made. That is that is the message. Okay, there's somebody who made a decision here. They There's a new beginning in love happening for you. I feel like someone here is regretting a decision that they made before. Okay, because something's not paying off with the seven of pentacles. This energy is looking back at the past. Okay, so something did not pay off for someone. See, Ten of Swords is a betrayal, betraying this Empress, betraying this Divine Feminine, who is a true, true soulmate. Okay, 
a true counterpart. That's what I heard. Three of Wands. This person is at a distance here, good looking, you know, either arguing or having conflict with a younger fire sign. Okay, but they're in reflection. See, the King of Swords, they know. They know, and there's a change happening here with this Wheel of Fortune. So what is this news coming in? Could be from this fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. But this is somebody who's going to take action with this Two of Wands. What is this Page of Wands here for Cancer? We have the Tower and the Ace of Cups now at the bottom of the deck here twice. So Tower, Scorpio, very strong Pluto energy with the tower and the death card, Scorpio and the Knight of Cups, which is a message. So this is, I feel like it's going to be a sudden, unexpected communication coming from a person. They may even communicate about a breakup because we have the death card and the tower. I view the tower sometimes as a breakup. Uh, this is offering emotional, emotional, this is offering a cup and interesting. We have the Ace of Cups at the, at the bottom of both decks here. Look with this person looking at the past, looking back at the past. Here they come with a with with an offer. Okay, something ten. Yeah, communication, something tangible. Eight of Wands is communication. Ace of Wands is passion. And look at what we have here. The Six of Cups, a past life soulmate, someone from your past that I said that has been keeping an eye, eye on the prize, looking at you. There's somebody who's a past life soulmate that continues to look back they continue to look back here okay see this is looking at the past seven of pentacles something here did not pay off for this person okay said so you know it could have been a foundation here that has crumbled divine intervention divine intervention there's been an ending could have been an ending with a younger fire i mean it doesn't matter who the ending happened with i feel like more importantly that there's a there's a new beginning in love here happening there is a new beginning in love here it could happen suddenly for you cancer with the tower Okay, score very strong Scorpio energy. Pluto, Pluto is the planet of transformation. Okay, so something's happening by divine intervention. Also, could be the Tower's divine intervention. It is a change. It is a change here. Ace of Cups with the Seven of Pentacles. Someone wanting to invest, or someone who want who's going to want to invest, or I don't know. I see this person here looking back. Okay, coming forward uh, here with some sort of communication. Okay, but it feels tangible as well because we have the pentacles seven of pentacles with the page of pentacles and this ace of cups which is a, a, an outpouring of emotions i should say okay that that could be the communication here with a lot of passion as well ace of wands so there's a new beginning here there's a new beginning here with passion and love okay with a lot of messages i see messages here of passion coming to you cancerian okay we have ace of cups here with a page of cups and the ace of pentacles so two aces in both decks ace of wands ace of pentacles ace of cups the aces are new beginnings and here's this person look with another ace thank you spirit confirmation so this is a definite clean slate new beginning for you okay with victory okay success that's what i'm hearing okay page of swords it's this person eyes on the price looking somebody's spying on you somebody's watching you this person's in love with you somebody's in love here with you so, I mean, this is somebody in love. When you look at the Knight of Cups, is an emotional message. You know, we do have this King of Wands showing up, fire energy. I see this person here. Someone's viewing you quite stable with the Queen of Pentacles. There's an ex here who could be in distress or could have created a lot of stress here for someone. Take it how it resonates. I view the Queen of Swords as an ex. Um, could be an ex-wife. Could be a, somebody who, who somebody has divorced or ended a commitment with recently. We did view that in the beginning of the reading cancer i feel like getting some of these for you like more cl clarification for you we have this page of cups which is here okay there's an offer in love coming in okay there's an offer in love with that that's a wish fulfillment for you we did see that the the star card in the beginning of the reading um what is this tower here holy spirit what is this tower okay it's coming from a soulmate and that's what i wanted to see an emperor Okay, because I, I know that there's 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 somebody that's showing up in the reading here, uh, making a decision, making a choice. Okay, interesting. The King of Wands is the Emperor in a lower vibration. Is that how it's said? Yeah, and a choice here. There's a choice here being, you know, Two of Wands, Two of Wands. There's a choice. The Lovers is a choice. It's Gemini energy. I have to cover. Um, I have to cover the Lovers. So. Making a decision. The Emperor Aries energy is somebody who makes a decision. This is suddenly. This is happening suddenly. 
Okay, Un unexpectedly, I should say. Okay, that is the tower, what I'm clarifying here. This reading has to do with somebody making a decision. Okay, whether it, and it's not about, I mean, I see th two, two queens here and one that's very angry. Okay, but um, there's somebody who's making, who who's taking action, I should say, King of Wands. King of Wands, confident, passionate, okay? Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, commitment. Could be a long, yeah, it could, could be a long-term dynamic, long-term scenario. Okay, this person, Emperor, could be a new person, Cancer. But again, it's a choice. It's a choice that I see here, here with regards to a soulmate, okay? Somebody whom you have a soul contract with, okay? That is deciding here to take action now. And I see this as a masculine energy or feminine. Take the message how it resonates, Cancerian. Okay, I'm going to get some of these tarot. Um, what? A, I just forgot. Okay, so that's a message there. The moon is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, the good tarot. I had a brain off. Just my brain went off for a moment there. So number nine may be significant. Okay, 18. The moon is your, um, it's your card. I don't know why I'm so confused suddenly. Somebody may feel confused, okay, or may feel like a sense of, fog, you know, mental fogginess, okay, with the seven of cups, which is showing here. I want to see what's under this emperor, this knight of wands with their page of swords watching you. They're watching you. And they're passionate. There's passion here for you. Six of air, the world six of air, and the hierophant. Okay, Taurus energy. This Hierophant, for some reason, looks like the magician. Okay, like it's it's mad, it's it's creating some sort of um, it's putting in time here in creation. It has the resources here to create. I don't know where I'm seeing saying that. Why I'm seeing say, seeing it. Now I can't speak. Six of Air, Six of Swords. Okay, which is movement. Okay, moving on. Moving on in the world, completions of cycles, okay, but also moving towards expansion, okay, moving towards expansion. Pisces energy with the moon, Taurus. We have this world card here and ending of cycles. It feels it could be travels, okay, it could be very much so travels with the six of swords, the six of air and the world. Okay, Hierophant is guidance from above, okay. Some side it could be a leader of an institution, okay, it feels like an engage commitment, engagement. Marriage even. So transitioning to something better here with the six of air, because we did I did read this came up for this card came up for cancer um in the one of the one of the readings I did and transitioning to something better. The world is expansion, okay? It's also a victory card. So you may be very well so a lot of you may be moving towards something that feels like that it may it may be very very well so in love, a commitment here, marriage even, okay? New beginning, a new start here in love. Um or with with within a commitment, I'm picking up a commitment here, okay, with the Hierophant. Moving towards a commitment, expansion, success, okay, Taurus energy. We have the moon and the, the wheel of fortune, okay, which is called fortune's wheel here. Wow. So I feel like a lot of you have, in fact, or are in the midst of moving towards a new cycle in your life, okay? With the six of air, six of swords, and the world showing up, and now I'm seeing the fortunes, the wheel of fortune. So you're moving towards a new cycle. I looked at the meaning for this card the last time it came out for cancer, and the meaning was transitioning to something better. I feel you have an inner knowing, okay? Spiritually inner knowing here, that you're transitioning here to something that is better, okay, for you. The universe, the world is the universe, I'm going to get some of these for some more of these for this reading cancer. I don't know what's going on with my speech. I can't talk. I'm channeling and I'm just, my words are, I don't know what I'm trying to say. What does the cancer need to know? Thank you, spirit. Divinely protected. You are divinely protected. Someone is having dreams of you and we have new beginnings. Yeah, that is what you're transitioning towards. The six of swords moving towards the world with the Hierophant. It feels like it's, I, I view the Hierophant sometimes as God. You know, the, the, it's a it's a major arcana um, for for Taurus, but it, it feels to me like guidance. You're being guided here to move transition to something better. Okay, it says dreams of you. So someone may be dreaming or having some sort of dreams. Or let's see, let's get one more. What else for Cancer for this reading, Holy Spirit? Cancer sending you so much love and light. In case I did not say that, backfire, despair. She knows. That is what I saw in the reading, this Queen of Swords, okay? See, backfire, despair. Something here did not pay off for somebody. I think I said it. 
I think those were my exact words. I'm looking at your social media. I'm, I, we did see that page of swords. I said, this person's eyes on the prize. Someone's watching you. Could be a Capricorn. Emotional fulfillment is coming for you, Cancerian, for you. Okay, contentment, fulfillment. I'm looking at your social media. She knows, Cancer. I'm healing. Would you give me a chance? Outcome in this situation is favorable. Will you give me a chance again? Intuition. I love you to the moon and back. So that is what I have for you for today, Cancerians. There's a definite new beginning happening here for you. Okay. I'm sorry. Too bad. Too sad. If something didn't pay off for somebody. Okay. And if things backfire on a person, you know, that makes sense as to why we've been seeing the devil card a lot in the readings, because that is Saturn energy. And that is exactly what Saturn does. It teaches you karmic lessons. Okay. There is a cycle here that a lot of you, most of you collectively have completed. In fact, Okay, and now it's like a time for, for things to start moving. There's movement here now picking up for you. Okay, I feel like it has to do with new love. A new beginning in love here. It could be with this emperor. Okay, it could be with this emperor, which is nice to see. Okay, it's not a page, it's not a night. Okay, this energy does show up. It has been showing up also for you. You know, this emperor Aries energy. Someone who's authoritative, in power. Could be a business owner or some sort of leader. Okay, uh, but more importantly, somebody who's wise. Okay, <laughs> it's somebody who's wise. Um, good match for an empress. Okay, divine feminine. So I'm going to leave the reading here, Cancer. I'm sending you so much love and light. Let me know, please, in the comment section if the reading resonated with you. I will be back very soon with another reading. Until then, love you guys so much. Namaste.